Hey filmmaker, Shungda here. And today I want to talk about using the Rode VideoMic Pro. A lot of people give it a lot of, yeah, overrate it a lot. Uh, I have to say I don't really often like to use it because it picks up a lot of noise, especially the noise behind the person. And to actually pick up great sound from it, you have to stand really close up. This camera actually in front of me with the Rode VideoMic Pro is now 30 centimeters away from me and the road is approximately yeah 35 and that is how you should film it you have to have the camera literally in the face of the person and yeah that's how you get the interview which does feel odd and the privacy of the person feels horrible because that camera is literally in your face but the sound quality wise is much better uh, however clipping a person actually gives you even better sound because the microphone is stuck on the person however a lot of people don't like to be clipped or yeah clipping onto a person takes time and often uh, clothing sounds and all those other problems but yeah using these uh, yeah microphone the shotgun mics actually also needs to be really close up to have actually great sound you have to yeah make a kind of a setup to make it better actually putting the road feeder mic on top of your camera is not really a great option because you have to stand so close it's even better if you have a magic arm under the camera and have the mic under coming under the camera and be in yeah slightly sticking out more forwards and so you can stand slightly more back so a lot of people yeah misconception all these things making a lot of reviews having the camera really far away and literally having the camera standing two to three meters away and then testing the sound and it's not really how you use it because real life situation to get the great sound you have to yeah stick the camera in in the face of the person so that is something i want to talk about a little that yeah to get great sound you have to put the mic close up to the person and yeah for how i have this canon 550d setup is with a 10 22 f 3.5 4.5 so it can stick really close up but also get a wide shot but yeah i'm not sure how i actually look now because it could be a little bit deformed uh with a big head but it could look also okay but it's a way to get the shot because if you're using a 50 you probably get only like a mouth and you have to stand like two meters away to get that one shot so hopefully you guys find this information interesting uh, comment below if you have any questions and yeah please subscribe for more upcoming videos and i hope to see you later bye bye